Today we're going to build an FM antenna in about five minutes using nothing more than a piece of wire, a piece of coax, and a connector. This is for receivers that have a 75 ohm antenna jack on the back, not the two screws that would just go to a couple pieces of wire. In this really quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a basic FM antenna using nothing more than a piece of wire and a piece of coax with a connector on the end for connecting to home stereo receivers like this one here, which I'm going to be working on later, which only have a 75 ohm input. And presumably you don't have a 75 ohm to 300 ohm adapter, such as something like that. You could certainly use one of these to hook up your dipole. But uh, you don't need to. If you don't have a 75 to 300 ohm adapter, not a problem. You can make a very efficient antenna using just a piece of coax and a couple pieces of wire. The wire is going to be cut to 29 and a half inches. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up our cable. For that we can use our, our cable prep stripper. Just like we would if we were going to be putting another end on the cable. And then basically all we need to do is connect one wire to the shield and one wire to the center conductor. And of course insulate it with heat shrink tubing. So let's do that. And then I'll show you how well this thing actually works. First I'm going to just take a small piece of heat shrink tubing. And we're going to place that over our center conductor or over the wire that's going over the center conductor and we'll take this wire we'll separate these other wires out of the way for now because we don't want them to short out but these will be connected to the other wire momentarily we're going to take this wire and we're going to twist it around our center conductor and solder it in place now the reason I'm doing this is to say the guy that brought me this, this radio to repair or this this uh, unit to repair is complaining of no FM reception. We well, had it hooked up to his home coaxial system and of course the cable companies have all removed the FM broadcasts that they used to carry on the cable. No, none of them carry FM broadcasts any longer. So he's wondering why he wasn't getting reception and I told him he needed an antenna and he knew nothing about an antenna so I told him I would make him an antenna. So here's a quick video on making such an antenna. Take my heat shrink tubing and I will, then, I will now shrink the heat shrink tubing on. Now I need a little larger piece of heat shrink tubing to go around the the rest of this, so I'm going to cut another piece of heat shrink tubing that's just a little bit longer, a larger diameter of course. We're going to take that heat shrink tubing and place it all the way over and onto the coax. Then I'm going to take my other wire, I'm just going to strip a little bit more of the insulation off of it so that I can also wrap it around here at the same time. And then when I bring the heat shrink tubing over, I can bring it right over and onto the onto the, the jacket of the coax itself. And then when I heat this up, the, the uh, heat shrink tubing shrinking down is what's going to connect and maintain the connection. for the second leg of the dipole. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'll connect this up to the radio now and I'll be pulling in all the local FM stations.
and then you would attach this up to the, on the wall either attach it up like a T like that a couple thumbtacks wrapped around the end here you know wrap the end of the wire around a thumbtack or a push pin and push it into the wall or tape it up or it could be installed vertically like that with one side stretching back down and the other one going up the wall or if you don't want to see it just throw it in the back of the cabinet it's going to still work regardless so let's turn this thing on and see how well it receives the local stations Wendell FM MP3 player running again The audience and, and the public throughout the pandemic have really tells me this thing's in uh, well it's in it's in uh, 50 kilohertz mode it's gonna pick up all the local stations no problem So that's how you build yourself a very basic, very simple FM antenna for if you don't have, uh, I mean you can just use a piece, of, a couple pieces of wire if you've got, uh, if you've got the terminals, but if, you're, if your unit has a coaxial connection, which a lot of them do, um, some people mistakenly hook up an antenna to this terminal here, and that's actually for the AM antenna. So that's not going to do you any good for FM, and it's clearly marked AM, but FM, if you're using coaxial, this is the easiest way to make one up. Just a couple pieces of wire, 29 and a half inches long each, and a couple pieces of heat shrink tubing. It gets the job done. Thanks for watching.